Modbus Diagnostics. We are in the Modbus editor of PXC4 where we had added the damper actuator. You can see the state of the device is now program halted. And here are the play and pause buttons. This is because the device is assigned and connected to the network. You can see the details of assigning devices and using play and pause buttons in the data point test chapter of this e-learning. The trace of a Modbus device can only be switched on in the play mode. Click on the play button to do so. The device is now online and you can see an orange frame around the configuration area. The trace can be started on the network and the device level from the context menu. As soon as the trace is started, a separate tab near Properties and Library is opened showing the online trace. It is possible to pause and stop the trace from the buttons here. Once the trace is stopped it can be exported at the default path in a Wireshark capture file format. This file can be imported in Wireshark for expert troubleshooting. While you are still online, you can view a separate tab called Diagnostics in the Properties. It shows the various diagnostics parameters for the selected device. Similar to the device it is also available for the network with the relevant parameters. To see another interesting function, click on pause button to end the online session. It is possible to optimize the network traffic at device level. This option basically creates the bulk reader objects for your Modbus devices. The bulk reader object is an octet string calculated value object which reads the consecutively addressed registers in one go. Bulk reader objects reduce the number of requests on the network and thus, reduce the network load. You can get more details from the online help. Please note that these bulk registers are not calculated in the Modbus data point limit of the devices. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.